Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath. And today I'm going to talk about cholesterol and statin medications. Cholesterol is very important for the body for so many reasons. It's important for hormone function, brain function, immune function. Without it, we would die. But the drug companies and doctors will have you lowering your cholesterol as much as possible. But just as many people die from heart disease with low cholesterol as high cholesterol. Total cholesterol doesn't mean anything. It's the quality of the cholesterol that's important. And the test that the doctor does, looking at HDL and LDL, really doesn't mean anything at all either. Let's have a look at a full detailed cholesterol test and I'll explain what you need to look for, what to test for. Here we have an example of a full cholesterol test. Like normal tests, that gives a total cholesterol reading in this case it's 5.8 but as I said before that does not really mean much at all. The triglycerides are an important marker and while the range is below 1.5 and on many tests the, the range is below 2 you really want to be below 1 so this client here is excellent. The HDL cholesterol is the, is the lipoprotein that takes the cholesterol from the peripherals back to the liver for processing. The range is 1 to 1.9, but really the higher the better, so 2.1 here is excellent. And the LDL, or the so-called atherogenic cholesterol, the range is 0.5 to 3.5. And this does not really mean much, you don't want it too high and you don't want it too low, but 3.4 is okay, and we'll find out if that's the good cholesterol or the bad cholesterol later. Lipoprotein A. You really want this below 75 ideally, even though the range is 0 to 3. The higher this one is, the higher the genetic risk of cardiovascular disease. Apolipoprotein B indicates the health of the LDL cholesterol up here. So while the range is 0.6 to 1.4, you really want to be 1 or below. So this test here is quite good. It's, it can be improved a little bit more. This indicates whether they have very low density lipoproteins or the light fluffy LDL, the healthy versions. And the apolipoprotein A1 is a marker of the quality of the HDL, so they have very good quality HDL cholesterol. These things are not tested by your, by your GP. Other important markers are homocysteine. Homocysteine is an inflammatory marker associated with cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's. And while the range is 5 to 12, you really want to be between 6 and 8. This can indicate low levels of B vitamins, particularly folate and B12, or possibly a genetic defect called MTHFR, meaning that the folic acid in the B12 is not getting processed efficiently. Glucose, you want this to be quite low, so this is an excellent reading here. C-reactive protein. This is a measure of high sensitive C-reactive protein. The GP only measures C-reactive protein above five, but this test measures it from zero to five. So you can have C-reactive protein of three or four, indicating underlying inflammation. And inflammation is the cause of all chronic diseases. So this client here, they're C-reactive protein of 0.3 is excellent. And vitamin D status wants to be between 100 and 150. So this is another excellent reading here of 145. This is another test. And the last test, the total cholesterol was 5.8. And this one's virtually identical at 5.9. Now let's look at the rest of the results and see what, that sh see what they show. Triglycerides are a little bit higher, above the 1. The HDL, the protective cholesterol, is very low at 0.7. The last client was 2.1. The LDL, or so-called atherogenic, is 4.7. This 4.7 number doesn't really concern me because we need to look at the quality of the cholesterol before we can decide whether it's a problem or not. The lipoprotein A is above the 70, it's very high at 176, increasing their risk of cardiovascular disease by 3 to 5 times. 
and that apolipoprotein B, rather than being on the lower side, is on the higher side. So this LDL cholesterol that they do have is of the it is of the atherogenic small dense particle size, and the apolipoprotein A1 is low, so the quality of the HDL is also very poor. Homocysteine is not too bad. Ideal is six to eight, so nine is all right. But the high sensitive C-reactive protein of 2.7 indicates there's just mild but chronic inflammation occurring. So inflammation combined with the high levels of the bad LDL are a high risk for cardiovascular disease. And also other chronic problems like diabetes, dementia, Alzheimer's. And then vitamin D is quite low at 61. This is the same client, and this is looking at their LDL subfractions. So the, v the VLDL, which you want to be quite low, is okay. But some of these other low density lipoproteins, which are shown to be a higher risk factor for cardiovascular disease, are higher. And the main thing we want to look at here is the particle size. The particle size should be above 268 at a minimum, and ideally above 270. So this low particle size of 264, combined with the inflammation in their system, puts this person at a high risk of cardiovascular disease. But it doesn't mean they need statin medications. Changes to the diet and lifestyle can bring all these back into the right levels. So that's what a full cholesterol test looks like. And as you can see from the first test with the healthy results, that guy is on a very high fat, low carbohydrate, low inflammatory food diet. And while his cholesterol might be on the slightly high side, it's actually all the good cholesterol. He's super healthy and he has nothing to worry about. The guy on the other hand, once again, his cholesterol results aren't that high either, but he has very poor HDL and he's actually at a high risk for cardiovascular disease due to the inflammation. But does he need statin medications? No, there's a lot of diet, lifestyle, and nutritional things that he can do to help improve his results. Statin medications have a lot of side effects from neurological problems, muscle aches, fatigue. Statin medications also don't address the cause. Addressing the cause is the key to good health. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to order one of these tests, contact me at michael at planetnaturopath.com. These tests can be done anywhere in Australia and will help reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Thank you.